Hello and welcome to Gaming with Kamer. If you can't tell, this game is called The Groundskeeper. Um, I know nothing about this game, I just know it's a horror game. And it's meant to be pretty damn scary. So I thought, you know, to jump back here and to win the horrors, I thought I'd go with one that's meant to be scary. I've not seen any good images of this, it's just like shown hallways and stuff. Anyway, we're just gonna jump in. WA has need of walkies to open doors, walking objects to pick them up and interact with them. There is no sprinting. Escape pause. Escape pauses. You may not want to pause. Why not? Keys and tape recorders unlock door tape recorders unlock doors. Um black doorways represent new levels. Walk into them. Black doorways also represent levels you just came from. Search each room thoroughly. Okay, so yeah, we really are jumping into this not knowing anything about the game. So we'll just see how this goes. I... I never thought this would happen to me. I don't think you just go with it. Yeah. Here I am. Alone. Afraid. I have to find a way out of here. Oh, did I forget to mention this game has jump scares? I forgot to mention that. Here's one now. Right? Okay. We just follow the path. I guess we just survive the plane crash of sorts. I'm not totally scared at all. No, no, not, not, not scared at all. Just, just ignore it. Just, just no. Scary things. No scary things at all. It's just a pathway. You just walk and just follow it. Nothing's gonna pop up. Nothing's gonna scream its head off in your face. Glitch cabin. I thought it said glitch cabin. Stop. It was like, okay. That's weird. Oh, we want to go to a cabin that's glitched. But anyway, we're just gonna keep walking. It's pretty damn quiet. I don't know how loud jump scares are gonna be. There's gonna be one in here. This cabin looks awfully a lot like one I did in another game, which I didn't finish. Because it was a shit game. Okay. We're fine in here. Right? I don't do well with jump scares. I don't do well with jump scares. Please don't give me... I can't believe how terrified these games make me. Okay, you're locked. That's good. One less door to enter. I hope I wasn't being trolled. With someone saying there's jump scares when there isn't. Actually, no. I want to be trolled. I don't want jump scares. <laughs> oh, fucking... Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I'm a big baby. So do we go where he was? Now I'm going to grab this. Leave me alone. Stay away from me. Somebody please save me. There is no hope. Can you... I can't grab that. But there's a maniacal killer in here. What if he chops off my beautiful feet? Do I have feet? I don't have feet. I have to say the sensitivity on this is balls to the walls crazy. It's like really fucking high. So that's why my aimer went sort of everywhere just... I say aimer, there's no aimer. Anyways. Don't turn around. Don't. Okay, so there's nothing here. I'm totally not all tensed up. I've got to search each room thoroughly, so maybe there's a key on the floor somewhere. And you just walk into objects and drag with them. You can't do much with chairs. Or a double bed. Um, where do I go then? Is there something in here? Oh, did I try this door already? I, I probably did. 
Wait, wasn't this box on the fr I, Maybe I just saw it from a different angle. When I was coming in the room. Yeah, I just saw it from an angle. Can I crouch? Now, I've already forgotten the controls. There's no crouch in the game. Right. Sorry if the um, looking around seems jittery. It's just... It's that sensitive that moving slow makes it look all jittery for some reason. Uh, is this the only door I haven't tried? Wait, where do I go? What's this? Oh, I just closed the door. Okay. Is there anything for me to achieve here? Now, I'm going to try and grab that axe. I'm not sure if I looked at it properly. Because that's the only liable thing I see we can do here. Seriously? Am I missing something? I mean, the woods led us, the path in the woods led us right here. So, this must be where we need to be. Nice music in a horror game. Doesn't put me at ease at all. Why is every door locked? No, don't even fall. Don't fall. Just, just get it over with. Just get it over with. Now I'm leaving because there's nothing here for me. How do you... Oh, right. So I am missing something. And I can't leave. I can't pick up the radio or anything. I'm sorry if the um, thing to do has been staring me right in the face. Staring me right in the face. No, it's just an awkward picture. Oh, right. I knew that was there. Now we're just going to find the door that opens. Okay. Tension's rising again. Because now we found a new room, which we've not been in before. Totally not terrifying. Not terrifying. So, so who just leaves that cabin all weirded up? Hello? Oh, maybe I need to interact with it from the other... Oh, what's this? My name is Jeremy Klitsch. Today is November 17th, 2007. And there are some strange things happening around here. My neighbor's groundkeeper has been wandering and yelling on my property late at night. I don't know why I'm even recording this. I guess he's just really starting to get to me. Key. I've tried to talk with the Studworths. But he always tells me they're out of time. I don't know what's going on here. But I don't like it. So let me guess. This guy went to investigate and now he's dead or something. Please don't tell me he's dead. Oh, no, it's not a key. It looked like a key from afar. Are you open? No, you're locked. So there's a key around here somewhere. Unless that video tape, uh, video recorder, sorry, is what I need and then something else will activate in the house. Meaning there's something for me to do somewhere else other than here. So I should leave. No sprint button. That's good. That means we don't have to run away from anything. I hope. Let's not go upstairs. Let's check down here while we're here. <laughs> ah, fucking fuck. Okay, it's not scary. It's just I've seen what it looks like up close now. It's not scary. Totally not scary. Yeah, like I'm gonna believe. I'm going. Yes, I don't. Oh, I do. I do. It's where I leave. It's not where I leave. I'm trapped here. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? I'm gonna be really murdered, and and no one's gonna save me. I'll be dead. So no one will get to me in time. Here is a, a creepy guy running around the house with his white mask on, and he's gonna kill me. And I I refuse to pick up this axe. Why? Why? Why not pick up the axe? I'd pick up the axe. 
Actually, no, if this was me in a real situation, in a dark fucking cabin, with some weird creepy guy, I would just sit in the corner and curl up and fucking cry. <laughs> I'd be too scared to face anything, face any demons or psychopaths. I wouldn't be able to move, I'd be terrified, I'd be so scared, I wouldn't even try and run. I'd be scared they'd hit me and then they'd kill me, but either way they're going to kill me if I just stay there and do nothing. Huh? Is that not all the doors? Try the door and the door over there. Near enough, all the doors downstairs are unlocked. Unless I can leave here now. No. But this door... Oh, wait. I've opened this door. Oh, I didn't pick this up. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. These may be my last words. Whoever is listening to this, get out now. I'm too terrified to move. I got goosebumps. All of my arms like really bad. I can feel them. Really good. Just just keep talking to yourself. Because no one else is here. Just keep talking to yourself. And you'll be fine. You'll get through it. Because if you're making noise, that means there's less noise you're paying attention to when the jump scare comes. Somebody makes a lot of noise and scares the shit out of you. And you ain't going to be so scared because now you're talking to yourself. So just keep talking. And say things. So, um. I like stairs. Yeah. Um. I say we go this way. We open this door in here. Because I reckon this is where the key's going to open. No, it's not. So it's going to be in the other room. I did pick up the key, right? I mean, I walked over it. I'm sure I picked it up. No scare? The phone's ringing downstairs. Okay. How about I just leave it to ring? I mean, they're going to, you know, stop calling eventually. Is this door miraculously open yet? Nope. So we've got two more doors to open. Oh, and three if you can the exit. Okay, so the phone's downstairs. There's going to be a jump scare before we get there, right? Which way was the phone? Oh, it's in this next room. Jump scares, ahoy. Hello? Hello? Fucking chill. Ah, oh, thought I saw something outside, it's just the rain. Okay, how long are you going to stay on the phone? Just give up the creepy stuff. Because it's really not working for me. Okay. Do I interact with the phone again? Yeah, well, fuck you. You bastard. Time to leave. Still not time to leave. This means it's time to go upstairs and get a new jump scare. Because there's like two doors. Two, uh, yeah, two doors upstairs we need to open. But I don't have a... Oh, there must have been a key in in the room upstairs. Oh, no. They've knocked the door down. Just... Yeah, just keep talking. I just, just keep talking to myself because it helps with what's about to come. Clearly. Double key. Just a flashing light. Okay, that's not creepy at all. This reminds me of that game Eyes. Was it Eyes? No, it was I See You. That was it. And something like this happened, but the eyes were cooler. How you doing? Okay, so that's all the doors upstairs activated. Opened, sorry. I'm fucking weird. Now we make our escape. We just politely stroll on through this house, cabin, that isn't even ours. We just, yeah. Okay, now we can leave. That's not the end of the game. Um, I guess this is going to be a two part thing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Okay, so I can't pause the game because it's just going to make a load of fucking noise like this. So let's not do that. That's kind of an annoying thing because I want to pause to do my outro. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. This has been a very scary video and I guess it's going to get scarier. So join me for part two and any other parts after that. It's probably just going to be a two-part game. Maybe three parts. But anyway, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been The Groundskeeper, part one. I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Have yourself a nice day, and goodbye.